There is something very powerful of 5,000 years of wisdom and like a people group who have survived so much and been through so much and are still like vibrant and strong and succeeded. Part of my education, I am relatively used to, you know, like being in like large, very like women focused environments. And I have been to a few like, say like feminist retreats where it's all women. Um, but this is a totally different kind of group of women. I've never been on like a retreat that was like fundamentally Jewish. And I think that that connection and I think that that like the fact that we are all Jewish and that we share this like very unifying thing about us. We are diverse and we have different experiences, we have different backgrounds, um, and we have different opinions, but that connects us so much. And I think that that's a place that we build on. Like I understand the Jewish connection on a very like, more tangible level now, besides like, oh yeah, you know, Jewish mom trying to feed us all the time, we gotta call my mom all the time. Like there's, there's the, the aspects that translate as cultural aspects. But I think a lot of times like seeing, you know, Judaism as like an ethnicity or like a religion, like it's deeper than that. And so I think that like, well, I have seen this like, oh, we all come together for like similar things. We can all laugh about like our similar experiences. Like those experiences are the surface. Whereas like what we're learning about now, which is like the basis of our like souls, that's the foundation and that's what like I think makes this such a, like an electrifying like group of people and such an electrifying experience. You'll end up like having like little conversations that will end up being these like you know comp these like deep electrifying conversations like I feel like every time I like like sit down to like have lunch or have breakfast or sit in a jacuzzi you know like whereas usually you know you just kind of like skate through the surface of life here like our brains are so like fired up and our souls are so fired up that we're like sitting down in the jacuzzi and getting into conversations about you know like I'm thinking about my past and I'm thinking about my future and I was thinking about this Judaic concept and I was wondering about this you know like it it's, it feels like almost like we're just like shedding and we're shedding a lot of these like social formalities like, even if we haven't like met someone like individually or had conversations like five minutes into it we're like so you know like what did you think about <laughs> like the fact that you know like I, like the Jewish soul you know for me like I had an extremely secular upbringing not like my parents were not like oh we don't practice my parents were like both Jewish but atheist by the time I was born and like totally the like Marxian opiate for the masses type like and so for me like it is a huge shift. I used to identify as Jewish <laughs> for like a long time. I just didn't really under like I didn't understand I didn't have this like you know focus on you know what being Jewish is. I got to college and there was a lot more Jews around and I started like seeing actually mostly Chabad like hopefully the Chabad outreach programs and that was one of the first things that my rabbi said to me, like, he said, you know, like, a Jew is not what you do, a Jew is who you are. And I think that that, like, fundamental construction, that, like, fundamental, like, okay, <laughs> you know, like, I don't have to impress anyone. I don't have to, like, I can be true about, like, m my belief systems and my ideas, my experiences, and I can question these things. Like, dialogue is not discouraged, and that's important to me. You know, coming, especially coming from a completely alternate belief system, like, the fact that I can have my rabbi. That's something that's so cool about Judaism is because like it is academic and spiritual and it mixes that you know and so like when you're learning these things you're learning all this cool like interesting like history and philosophy as well as like spirituality so it all like meshes and so Chabad does a very good job of making it engaging and making it exciting like they make it really exciting to be Jewish like oh this is something that is so cool you know this is something that is so cool and so much fun and I'm so glad that I'm Jewish and I'm so glad that like this is my community this experience has honestly just like my identity like has grown and I'm a lot more comfortable with like the identity of not being an atheist because before you know, I was in the 80s for a long time and I was thinking, oh, you know, like, I have the truth. It's difficult to build faith when it's not something that is part of your upbringing. Especially, like, I didn't really start, like, even thinking about the possibility of an existence of a God figure until about a year and a half ago. Like, I'm now to a point where, like, 
I do believe in the existence of a God figure. And I think like I was talking about how like this it's like particular retreat and almost being like apart from the world and then being this like beautiful place around with all these beautiful women and all of these amazing like teachers like has honestly like I think elevated like my perception of things from the more physical because like to a to a more like spiritual level where I can start to understand things like creation or like like existence of God within like within this world